Yo, 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 what's up you guys? Today I want to reveal to you Neville Goddard's actual technique, his personal exercise that he used whenever he prayed for himself or for other people. So if you've been struggling, trying to manifest your desires, wondering what the heck you're doing wrong, then yo, this will definitely help you out. Alright, let's do this. In his lecture called Esau and Jacob, Neville talks about how after years and years of experiences, even mystical ones, the secret to manifesting your desires is this. Ready? Absorption. Let me say that again. The secret to manifesting your desires is absorption. Let's unpack this. You see, what Neville discovered was that if he named and became completely identified with the state to the degree that he became absorbed, guess what? It worked. <laughs> Things would manifest. Now, here's the actual exercise Neville did that he found to be really helpful. It went like this. First off, he chose a place that was very familiar to him, which for him was his home because he basically knew what every room looked like, right? And you'll see why this is important in a bit. And so at home, here's what he did. Neville would sit in a chair facing a wall, and with his eyes closed, he would look ahead and not see the wall in front of him. But instead, he'd see the wall behind him, in his mind's eye. You following? He'd see the wall behind him, physically, as if it were in front of him. In other words, the room has reversed itself, or he reversed himself. That's it. It was short and sweet. All right, let's give this a try. Let's do this exercise. Here's what I want you to do. If you're in a room right now and not outside, then good. And if you're familiar with the room you're in, then that's perfect. Okay, I want you to sit down if you're not sitting down already. And I want you to face a wall, any wall. Got it? Now, close your eyes. Do that for me. Close your eyes and just relax. Next, I want you to look ahead and not see the wall in front of you, okay? But I want you to see the wall behind you, the wall behind you, using your mind's eye. Go for it. You see it? See some of the details on the wall, the colors, the patterns, pictures. You might even know how the texture of the wall feels like, even better. Got it? Now. Bring yourself back. That's it. You can open your eyes now. That was dope, right? Okay, let me share another exercise Neville did in order to expand on this even more. And you can try this on your own though another time. Here's what he did. While Neville was at home, he would sit physically in his living room in New York City and imagine that he was actually standing on the street in front of his apartment house. And while standing there on the street, he would see the details on the marquee of the building. Still with me? So physically, he was in his living room on the 16th floor. But in his imagination, he was on the street seeing what he was seeing. And then still in his imagination, in his mind, he would walk back into the building, go upstairs, and sit down where he was physically. That's it. In fact, afterwards, when he actually did go outside in the physical, when he reached the street and looked up at the marquee, surprisingly, he saw stuff on it that he hadn't noticed the last time he looked at it physically. Hmm, what's that all about? Neville calls this bilocation, which is the phenomenon of being in two places simultaneously, being in two places at once. Now, why does all this matter? Well, what is the essence of Neville's teaching? It's that imagination what? Creates reality. Imagination creates reality. It's like this. Since you are all imagination, listen closely then you must be where you are in imagination. Is this making sense? It'll be objectified in your outer world. All right, real talk. What's your desire today? Okay, what do you want? It's as simple as that. Seriously, you can be anything in this world and don't let anyone tell you what you should or shouldn't have or be. Now, whatever your desire is, whether you're wanting to manifest something for you or for somebody else, here's what I want you to do. First off, name it. Name your desire. And then like Neville, sit quietly in a chair and imagine your desire already being realized. Identify yourself with it. How? Let me ask you, what would you do? What would you say? How would you act if what you want were already yours? And then begin to think and say and do those things inwardly. Dwell in that state and become completely absorbed in it to the point where you feel its reality. 
and you're viewing the world from there. You know what I'm saying? You're living from it and persist in it for however long it takes. And then here's what's going to happen. Neville says that when you imagine yourself as that person that you want to be and feel the thrill of it, then it is done. It's done. And the world will conform to what you've done. It may take a day, a week, or even a month. But no matter what, it's going to come true. Why? Because you let it to be so. Remember, you are the operant power. And your word cannot return to you void. And you will get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.